species profile, we're here in the deep sea looking for six gilled sharks. The name is Hexenchus griseus, and while it's found almost everywhere in the world, it lives here in the deep continental waters. And that is why we're here in Honduras. We get in Carl Stanley's submarine and dive far beneath the surface of Roatan's waters, where light no longer penetrates. Go ahead and get that. Okay. At a thousand feet, we see animals rare at the surface. But we push deeper because 2,000 feet is closer to where the six gills live. And it's here that we see organisms we've never seen before. Now let's review. There are around 440 shark species. Scientists divide them up into eight orders. Our six gill is a primitive shark in the order Hexacanthiformes, and it's divided up into two families, with the two frilled sharks making up one family, and the two seven gilled sharks and two six gill sharks making up the other. And the one we're looking for today is the blunt nosed six gill shark. Now this shark has a number of features that make it distinct. First, as the name implies, it has six gill slits. Almost all sharks have only five gill slits. Secondly, you'll notice that this shark has only one dorsal fin, which is pushed far to the back of the shark's body. And finally, these sharks have no nictitating membrane, the membrane that would cover their eyes as they attack prey. And we might not have to wait long, because this is the area that when the bait's out, the sharks come. And there they are, two giant six-gill sharks. Now they're cautious at first, checking out the submarine. But they know there's food, so they approach slowly. Here you can take a great look at its large, almost fluorescent green eyes. They're able to take in any available light. And they're the six gills that give it its name. We estimate these to be four meters. These are large sharks. The largest can be over 5.5 meters long. Now that it's taking its bait, notice its eyes. The eyes are protected. The shark is almost squinting and the eyes roll back in its head. And with that, it takes the bait and swims off into the abyss. 